Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this next doubleheader of LHL games. This doubleheader will feature the the first of two cold, hard classics this season. Because the weather is looking good, it's not raining, snowing, sleeting, or hailing. It'll likely be held outside, and yet I still need to finalize the stadium. Oh, great. If New Orleans wins that cold hard classic, they'll overtake Kansas City as one seed because they'll get the two points. They'll have nine points. So hopefully they can take it away. Hopefully they can take that one seed away, but really for Elijah, because I don't think I really don't hope it happens. So this first game we have to go through San Francisco versus Jacksonville first. So, if the, if it was raining at the time, at this time we would have had to, we would have to hold it inside. It would be at, at a place like Mercedes Benz Superdome, which is large, which is a large place. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in just a few minutes. All right, now we're gonna get started. Here we go, this is Mark Messier versus Austin Matthews on the draw, the All-American San Francisco team. Here's the draw, it goes to the Beatrix, this is back in. Bellows shoots it, and it went wide. Messier's gonna give it up to Orr who shoots, and he scores already! Already one nothing. Yeah, this is gonna be another high scoring game, I could already tell. The pass across. Here's a shot there from Danny Gear, which didn't go. This is back in for Messier, who shoots. Save there for Ottinger. This is back in for Austin Matthews. He's good. Save. Rebound. Another save for Corey Schneider. Schneider's a good player. And he shoots one. I went off the pipe. I pass across. He's going to get it to Orr. No, it gives it right back to Danny Gear, who shoots. And the net came off. And the puck is just sitting there. Well, not for long. We're about to have the face-off. The face-off back. This is Bellows who shoots. And another save for Corey Schneider. Pass across. Or, no. He gave it right back to Messier. Now Messier is going to take it and shoot. But he made bad contact on the shot. And here's Bellows. He shoots. Another save for Corey Schneider. This is the pass back for Orr. Now Orr going to shoot. Save again for Ottinger. Give it over to middle. Stat, it's on the goal line. No goal. No, seriously, it was. It wasn't in. This shot's going to go wide for Orr. Another try. Made back contact. 35 seconds left in this first period. Bellows going to take it back. Another save for Corey Schneider. Still only one nothing. Still had that one goal eight, uh, 12 seconds in. It was only that one goal so far. Danny Garrett shoots. And another save for Jake Ottinger. Now, middle stat. Going to be turned aside by Schneider. Pass across. Another save for Ottinger. This shot. Another save for Jake Ottinger. I bet Jacksonville will cough up the shutout at one point. And, well, we couldn't get it over. So, Messier has to shoot. Can't get it. Has to shoot now. No goal. Buzzer. He shot it before he shot it after the buzzer, it didn't count. It went if it was if it went in before the buzzer, it would have counted. But because it went in after the horn, it doesn't count. Entering period two of play, it's currently one nothing sun here over the Beatrix. Hopefully they can win the game. Cause then they'll get and if they get the first shutout in LHL history, I'll be surprised. I, I expect it like the Thunder, Storm Surge, or even the Blizzard to get the first shutout. Some games we came close, but then there were goals at the last minute. There were goals in the last second. That completely spoiled it. The Sun get the draw here early. Schneider looking for a man to give it to. He gives it to Garrett. He scores! Danny Garrett's extending the lead to 2 nothing. Danny Garrett, just 7 seconds in, has extended the lead. He gives a draw away in middle stat. Gonna shoot! Save again. 
Got a pass across. Back for Danny Gurr. Gets it up to Orr. He gives it up to Messier. He shoots with his tip. Got it over to Danny Gurr. Back to Orr. Skates it to Schneider so he doesn't accidentally tip it in his own net. Now Messier is going to shoot. It was blocked by Austin Matthews. Now middle stack. Going to shoot. No, it didn't go in. I thought it did. We're already... 30, we're already 35 seconds in this period. More now. Bella's going to go for the shot that went wide. Now Gare going to shoot. Another save for Ottinger. Then it got to Austin Matthews who's going to shoot. Save again. Rebound they score. Shutout gone. And it was Casey Middlestat. 2-1. to one. Here we go again. We came close to a shutout. We were getting close. No. We weren't even halfway through the game. And here's a shot that was stopped again. It's on the line. We're halfway through this game. Save again. Now he'll shoot another save for Ottinger, and it's going to bounce into the bench. Which those benches aren't even used unless there's a shootout, which we don't have those. Except for the playoffs. However, no games have been going to overtime lately. That shot hit the pipe and went out and play again. And here's the draw. And it's in the net! How'd that get in the net? 3-1. Jacksonville has just regained the two-goal lead that they had earlier. Now, no, Messier's going to shoot. Save again for Ottinger, and it bounces out of play again. For the third time in like 20 seconds, maybe 10. Shot for Bellows didn't go in. Or no, that was middle stat. Off the pipe, and it went out of play. So now, I'm going to have the face-off. <laughs> Lucky face-off went. Bellow shoots. It went wide. Not even good contact either. Now here's a shot for Gare. No goal. I thought that went in. Now it's a giveaway right there for Orr. He's trying to get it away. Shooting easy. Safe Roger. But then a rebound try is going to bounce out again. With 15 seconds left. <laughs> There should be enough time to get it to the net. Here's Bellows now. Shoots when it was blocked. Oh, Orr had a shot there. Five seconds left. Now he's going to give it over to Keeper. Keeper Bellows shoots, couldn't get it back. Looking for the last second goal. Not going to get it. He ran out of time. And period two has ended. We had some wild action. It's 3-1. We'll be right back. Now, I bet you're wondering, Zach, why are the Beatrix wearing red? They're on the road. Zach, why are the Sun wearing yellow? It's a light color in their home. Well, the circumstances are the Jacksonville Sun wear white or yellow at home. They wear the gold at home, so the dark color has to be worn for them to be able to tell easily. I guess they, I guess they don't have to, because in the NHL, the Predators have the... The gold home jerseys and then the white ones and it's easy to tell. Well, gear may not be as easy. Here's the draw goes in behind. Now, going in. Bellow shoots. Save again. For Schneider rebound. Two saves for Schneider right off the gut. Shot again. Save. Here's or Save again for Ottinger. Now, here's Bellows shoots. Save again. And he's going to get it over. The pass. It's on the line. I don't know why they fought for it. Now, Gare has it. Shoots and it's in their own goal. I'm just going to get credit. That happens all the time. Three to two. Not even 30 seconds into this period. Now, here's the draw. It's going to go back for middle stat. Middle stat's going to give it up to Matthews. Now, Bellows. Bellows going to shoot off the utility pole with the shot. Gare trying to get it over to Orr. This time successful. Shoots. Couldn't get it. Rebound! Another stop for Ottinger. There's just a trend going on. He keeps knocking him out of play. Unintentionally. They're unintentional. If they were intentional, it would be delay of game. Power play. The goalies can't serve the penalty time in the penalty box. That'd be unfair. Nice pass across the shot from middle stat. Not going to go. Ball is going to try to get another shot. He couldn't get it off the boards. Can't get it. Another try. Another save for Corey Schneider. He gets another one. Not going to go. Matthews tries. They keep coming back. Ottinger decides to regroup in behind the net. There's a low battery warning on my iPod. Nice pass across. Shooting scores. We got 
having a tie game here, and it's Bellows again. Two goals for San Francisco here in the third period. We have a 3-3 tie. Nice pass up. Here's middle stat shoots. Another save again for Schneider. Now this shot for Danny Gare is going to be tipped wide by Matthews. Now pass out to Bellows who shoots. Save again. He's going to go back in for Gare. Shooting save. Rebound. Scores! Bobby Orr! He scores again! 4-3. With 26 seconds left. Or is another shot scores? Two in a row for Bobby Orr. And I think it's a hat trick for him now. He has two in a row. Ottinger wasn't ready. After scoring, after tying the game, they have just went down 5-3 with 18 seconds. That shot's not going to go. Rebound, save again. This is back in for Gare. Shooting, can't get it. This is back in shooting. Matthews couldn't get it. Danny Gare, off the pipe. Here's middle stat, off the post again. Bellows, save again, can't get it. Sun win it. They win two in a row. They win two in a row and they send the Beatrix home. They are officially eliminated from the playoffs. Pretty much. A 5-3 victory at home. The next game is the Cold Hard Classic. And you'll see the colors that the teams will wear any moment now.